So this is my most important to me idea. <laughs> Obviously everybody has things in their life that's important, but to me, I hate ads. Um, I'm sure people can relate to having ads in their apps, on their TVs, uh, billboards, etc. You know, it kind of started with um, advertisements they would put in like newspapers and publications and then cable TV happened and they started just really jamming it down our throats. And by the time the first streaming services came out, like Hulu, when it first came out, you could get the cheap edition for like seven dollars uh, and it would come with ads but two or three minutes of ads every like 30 seconds <clears throat> it that that was the turning point for me where i was like this is a real problem uh, and I, I don't know the numbers i'm sure somebody can look into this but globally think about how much is spent on advertisements just in the world and think for a second if advertising was illegal. Um, some people might not know that in other countries, uh, pharmaceutical advertisements is illegal. Um, only in America is one of the few places that they're allowed to even advertise drugs and medicine. And it actually makes up what I hear is about 70 or 80% of all ads are pharmaceutical ads. <clears throat> So my idea is an augmented reality, not virtual. You're in the real world, but it, um, the concept I was thinking of was basically using uh, AirBuds, like an Apple uh, wireless buds. And then I was hoping that the Apple Glass for augmented reality was coming out sooner than later. I was going to attempt to develop something or coordinate with people, but currently there's not, <clears throat> A good augmented reality product on the market yet and therefore I'm not working on developing it but this idea stands that once that does become more feasible probably in the next two years from now in 2023 um, that we will be able to um, develop this um, the concept being that <clears throat> when you're in public or anywhere and you activate your your glasses um or to be in uh <laughs> i i the one of the names i was workshopping was just my bubble <clears throat> uh and you could customize your own bubble to filter or um, block or translate replace anything you want in real life uh some of the examples um are mostly political or religious that I would use in terms of if you see someone that's supporting a party you don't like, uh, you could easily adjust the setting. So with um, AI's image detection could look for certain keywords, images, symbols, acknowledge them and block them out, either to replace it, uh, gray it out so that you know something's there, but you can't, it won't let you read it. Uh, replace it all together, you know, uh, replace it with just a clown face or something, um, or replace it with what you support or want to see. Um, and this could have other implications for like, if you have young children that you don't want to necessarily, necessarily hear profanity or other sexual or, um, offensive or compromising things, uh, they could wear these glasses and you could have like a parental mode adjusted by the age that would block out anything that looked sexual. Even if you're just, you know, walking through somewhere and, you know, there's a HBO's on, there's a sex scene or maybe real sex, whatever it is, it should be able to identify it. And if it knows that children are watching in parental mode, it can just blur it out or put an X or warning or even trigger an alert for the parent. Um, who's in control of that child's bubble. <clears throat> uh, but the that, I, I'm just saying everybody would potentially have a reason to craft their own personal bubble. Uh, myself, though, my only reason for doing this is to block ads. Anytime I would see a billboard or 
the radio, uh, television, you know, in your, uh, <clears throat> whatever app you're in, if an ad starts playing, <clears throat> just, it would identify it as ad, just put big red letters, ad, you couldn't read it, you don't know what it's saying, um, I was also bringing up earlier the concept or the uh, already existing earbuds uh, that Apple has. I recently heard from my sister that the earbuds, uh, second or third generation, uh, actually have noise canceling technology so that if a train is screeching or a bunch of traffic is in the background, it actually acknowledges that and then blocks it so that you don't hear it and it's not like uh, you don't jump or flinch due to the whatever sound is uh, coming into your world and so i think that it could also be incorporated with these augmented reality glasses to listen and then block for ads or words or even paid promotional things oh whatever podcast oh this is brought to you by whatever block it out i hate ads i think they're a scourge on this planet i think that we've wasted an infinite amount of money that could have solved all of our problems worldwide on trying to outcompete each other by saying, oh, you got to buy this to that. Uh, I don't know what should replace ads. I don't know if word of mouth is good enough or I don't have a solution to how you sell your product. Quite frankly, I don't care. All I know is that our entire planet is now run by ads and it's disgusting. And I'm gonna do everything in my power to create an augmented reality to block ads. To reiterate, this could be used for a lot more other uses like uh, parental, religious, you know, you, if you're Muslim and you don't wanna see blasphemy, you could have that in, enacted in your bubble so that anytime you would maybe see a depiction of Muhammad or any other religious figure, uh, it could just block it out. And therefore, you're not upset. You're, you haven't been blasphemized. <laughs> um, and you wouldn't attack other people or know to attack them because it would be blocked out. You'd be in your bubble. Um, I've, heard, I've heard some uh, kickback from, from that aspect of things um, in terms of problems where if two opposing religious or political people meet and they have their own bubbles enacted that uh, it could potentially prevent them from communicating at all. Um, and I was thinking there would have to probably be some sort of larger safeguard or uh, regulatory thing that could make sure that people are still reactive and safe in the real world and then able to experience reality without being triggered or upset by being in their own little augmented reality bubble. It's my favorite idea. And um, like I said, we don't really have the technology in terms of wide scale and publicly available augmented reality, but I think we're pretty close. And um, I'm very passionate about this idea and I'm really hoping that um, other people agree. Uh, I feel like I'm not the only one who doesn't like ads. Um, so yeah, thanks for listening.